It is an incredibly special Christmas for some newly exonerated men who missed holidays with their families for decades. Jerry Davis and Larry Moses were wrongfully convicted for crimes they did not commit. And this is their first Christmas home as free men in 30 years. Our Eleanor Tabone met them hours after they were initially released and caught up with them again last week. More than 30 years ago, two New Orleans men lost their freedom. Today, they leisurely sit along the riverfront in the 9th Ward, enjoying the December view. I thought I'd never see a ship again in the river now. Watching the boats go by and talking about dressing up as Santa Claus. Huh? You're going to dress up as Santa Claus? <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about hey, that. Nah. Laughter. For decades, there was little of that where they were. Gentlemen, what's it like to be sitting here today after we met? Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah it's, it's wonderful. It's a good feeling to look out over the railway and look at the city. In 1984, Jerry Davis was convicted of first degree murder and sentenced to life in prison. This August, after 40 years, the 64-year-old is home. Um, I ain't never thought I'd see this day. The father of two and grandfather of four finally gets to celebrate Christmas. Ain't no telling what I might do. <laughs> I'm gonna be happy. According to the Innocence Project New Orleans, Jerry wasn't even at the scene of the crime he was accused of. A couple were visiting New Orleans. Um, they were setting up a camper van in a trailer park on Chef Mentura in New Orleans East and they were approached by two men who um, robbed them and shot one of the man of a couple. Ibno says the actual suspect pointed the finger at Jerry and because of that, he spent four decades in prison. <laughs> now, he says his biggest joy is seeing his grandkids smile on Christmas Day. I'm mainly, be honest with you, um, at Christmas to watch, you know, the little kids playing with their toys and stuff, you know, bring back old memories. See how much fun they have, and you know, they had more than I used to have. I gave all thanks to God for blessing all the people that have been a part of my freedom. I was there the moment Larry Moses was released from state custody back in June. When I walk in the midst of my family, I could just feel all the love that I didn't feel for all of those years I was away. Because uh, there is no love in the penitentiary. The 68-year-old was given a life sentence for two counts of first-degree murder in 1995. Ipno says a suspect approached two people and attempted to rob them. The suspect shot both of them. Their investigators found the state didn't reveal evidence to the defence and the conviction was based on false testimony. In this case, the sole eyewitness or a man who claimed to be an eyewitness both had motivation to lie and to implicate Mr Moses over a romantic rivalry and that um, this eyewitness actually had um, pretty severe mental health problems and was prescribed Halidol, um, was committed actually and underwent a psychiatric evaluation. From the time when uh, we first met, the first time, uh, I've been riding the buses and learning the city again. Now, he's home. A father to 18, a grandfather to 30, and a great-grandfather to four. He now has his driver's license, traveled to Seattle and bought a van, and rekindled an old flame with Miss Gloria. Larry, what's it like to be sitting here with Jerry overlooking the river knowing you're free? Well, it's unbelievable, but it's a, a real good feeling because at one time I thought I'd never make it about the place, you know. And just uh, every day I wake up and walk out the door, and I can't believe it. Oh, I really is free. I'm running around doing the things that I couldn't do. Uh, I was being ordered around for all of those years. How does it feel for you, Jerry? Ah, just a wonderful feeling, you know. This something I have always been hoping for, to be free. 
Sit out, sit on the park, sit where I want to sit. I do a lot of sightseeing. Combined, Larry and Jerry served 70 years in prison for crimes they didn't commit. Now, these two kind souls. I'm sitting next to somebody yeah. that's been where I've been. So, you know, we know the feeling. I'm not going to lose this feeling again. On a park bench. I know this is a dream come true. Yeah. yeah it's a it's lovely, little beautiful sight. Sunshine and wind blowing. Yeah. What more can you ask for? And no more taking orders. I think everybody deserves a second chance. And you got both, you both got one. Right. Oh, gonna yeah. make the best of it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I ain't yeah. gonna look back. I'm looking forward. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying the view. We really living now. We getting a taste of real life. <laughs> you know. A view that was wrongly snatched away from them to begin with. Eleanor Tabone, WWL, Louisiana.